Hello, my name is Perry Gunderman, uh, and today we will be going over how to upload and download SSRS reports in Epicor 10.1 using the new functionality found within Report Styles. In order to begin, you have to go to the Report Styles screen. Once here, we'll search for a form. In this case, I want to use a PO form. And now that I have the purchase order form, we can see that I have two different report styles, one standard and the other with a logo. This one's running off Crystal Reports, so while I can copy the report style, I can't upload or download it automatically. However, with the standard SSRS report, I now have the ability in 10.1 to copy the report style, download the SSRS report, which will grab all the reports tied to it, and upload the SSRS report if I need to make changes to it. So let's start by copying. Before we do that, let's go to the portal. In the SSRS portal, we'll go to Custom Reports, and here we can see all the directories they have currently. Please note, there's none for purchase order. With that, let's minimize this, click Copy, and in just a few moments, we'll have our report style automatically copied, as we can see on the left here. Now, if we go back to our SSRS report portal and refresh, we can see that a purchase order form has been added, along with all the sub-reports inside of it. That is the fastest way to make a copy of it so you can begin modifying. But let's say you have your SSRS reports and you want to check them into a source control or other system. The old way you would do that is download them, and then if a report went missing, you would just re-upload it through the portal. This would have to be done one by one and could take a while. Well, now you have the ability to download and upload all the SSRS reports tied to a particular style. So for that, I'm going to select Desktop, and SSRS, or the download tool, will actually look for this directory wherever you point. Since I have a Reports folder on my desktop, I want to go to the level above that, which is just a desktop. If I click on Reports, it'll try to create a Reports folder within Reports, which causes some confusion. So for that, I'll click OK. We can see that all the reports have been downloaded, and now if we go to that directory on the desktop, and refresh, We'll see inside of custom reports, I now have a purchase order form. Inside of here are the most recent copies of all my reports. Now let's say we do the reverse. I've made some changes, but accidentally really messed up a report in the report holder, so I need to delete it. Simply go to a PO form. I'm going to delete it from here. Now I'm going to re-upload it from my desktop or source control. So once I'm here, I'll click Actions, Upload SSRS Reports, and select my desktop. It will re-upload all the files in that directory and happily put them inside of the d proper directory in the SSRS portal. So this is good for source control as well as creating your custom reports so you can quickly and easily do it as opposed to having to manually download and then re-upload each SSRS report. There's more functionality and power to be found, but that will be something that you'll have to experiment with. You can also now sync your data set if you've made changes to your report data definition, instead of having to manually add the tables and fields themselves. Hopefully this will help you out with some ideas of what to do with your reporting in Epicor 10.1. Thank you very much, and have a good day.